Glad you made it back, everybody. Beijing Biden announcing this week that he's all in on defunding the police. Shootings in New York City and Chicago have risen to alarming levels. Seattle, since city council, says they support a plan to cut their police budget in half. And across this country, more police officers are retiring, leaving poor communities unprotected. Here to discuss this, our Friday treat, the hosts of Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live. Diamond and Silk, ladies, welcome back to the Chris L. Saylor Show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I mean it. It is the highlight of my week getting to talk to you guys. First things first, Beijing Biden out there created a crime bill in the 1990s. You all know they disproportionately threw black and brown folks in jail. Now he's moved completely the other way and called for the defunding of, of police, leaving black and brown people and, and white folks in poor communities at the mercy of criminals. What does this say about the Democrats' nominee? Well, the Democrats nominee don't care about Americans yeah. and the American citizens and their protection. He don't care about that. That's why he's advocating for defunding. He wants to create chaos and confusion and criminality. That's what he wants. That's right. That's what he stands on. And this is why we need to say no to Jim Crow Joe and vote for President Donald Trump, who want law and order, who protects our police officers. Now, do policies need to be changed when it comes to policing? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. However, we need our police officers on the street to protect and serve. That's right. We want somebody that's going to protect the public. You know, if you're going to be staying in the basement, not coming up for air to see what's going on in our country, we don't need nobody like that running this country from the basement. We need to see what's going on out here in these streets. And remember that the Democrat Party has been the party of the, the black people community. Communities of black people, they love the Democrats. The Democrats love the black folks every four years in order to just get a vote. But now that we see exactly what's going on and black people are waking up to what's happening, the Democrat Party hates that. So now they want to remove the protection. They want to keep everybody open and vulnerable to everything that's going on in this particular, in our country. As long as they can create the problem, then they'll turn around and throw money at the problem and say, okay, we want to solve this issue, but they'll leave black people suffering at the bottom, still stuck with the problem while they done ripped everybody off at the top by stealing the money. That's so right. it's time for black people to really wake up and see what's going on in your communities, who you're voting for, voting for someone like Jim Crow Joe, who had 47 years to get it right and did not get it right for black folks. If he couldn't do it in almost half a century, how is he going to do it in four years? That's right. Tell me how. Uh, no, that's, that's a great question. I think that once he comes out of the basement, if he ever does any interviews, he might have to answer a question. Hey, Kanye West came out, said he's running for president, okay? And, and actually, Kanye uh, said some, something. I, I really appreciate him saying this. Planned Parenthood has been placed, he said, inside of cities by white supremacists to do the devil's work. Uh, Kanye's right, isn't he? I agree with that. I Most can agree definitely. with him. Uh, if you go into certain neighborhoods, every other corner there's a Planned Parenthood yep. uh, 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 enticing women, especially women of color, to abort their baby. Mm -hmm. You know, black people always complain about not being part of the majority or being the majority. Black people will never be part of the majority if they keep killing each other and killing their babies. That's right. But th this, all Amen. this here is the liberal ideology. Yep. This has been coerced, and this is the stuff that black people are going to have to wake up to, and we're going to have to say, Absolutely no to from here on out. And thank Margaret Sanger and the Democrat Party. That's right. That's who you think. That's right, ladies. And what happens when the Democrat Party, who do they get donations from? Planned Parenthood. So you got black yeah. babies, you got Latino babies being killed off by by Planned Parenthood, and then these white leftist communist politicians yes. take their campaign donations. I don't think uh -huh. I like that much as a Latino. How about you guys? No, uh -uh. no and, then, and then how are you planning to be a parent when you killing a baby? That's right. I thought it was Planned Parenthood. You supposed to be planning to be a parent, parent. but they called forcing you to come on in there and to kill, kill your, your child. Baby. That's, That's right. sad. Ladies, as I said, the favorite part of my week. Thank you so much. I always appreciate the visit. Coming up, folks. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.